to edit a button in TD Snap for first vocabularies, uh, again, we're going to first do a search to make sure the word doesn't already exist. In this case, I'm going to add some gummy worms into my snacks, hopefully. So I do a search for gummy with an I. That's not there. But uh, gummy bears are in here. So that's actually a good place to put gummy worms. Uh, same location there. So I'm going to tap the search results and just allow it to guide me there. So it's under all words, food and drinks, snacks and sweets. Gummy so bears. Gummy bears is living there, but uh, gummy worms is not in the system. So we're going to add that to this page. In order to do so, click the editing icon in the upper right corner of the screen and then select the location where you'd like the new word to appear. A single button is checked here. We see the blue check mark in the upper left-hand corner. The tab at the bottom opens up to buttons, and we're seeing some of the preset fields that we're, we're going to populate. So I'm going to go ahead and type gummy worms in the label field here. And I'm using gummy with an I because that's how my packaging for my favorite gummy worms is spelled. Um, when I do that, it automatically populates a message to be identical. In this case, uh, that's how I like that. It also did a search and found an earthworm here. I could keep that. That would be fine. But uh, since I do have access to a camera and Safari, I uh, did a search for the gummy worms I usually eat here. And I want to get into my photo apps to, to use that. So I'm going to click on the camera app and tell it to choose from my photo library. Here I see the picture that I've saved from earlier, and the button now is showing in preview mode here as we like it. So I'll go ahead and hit done. And now I've got both gummy bears, gummy worms in my um, snack list. I'm going to add one more item here. I could have stayed in editing mode, but I'm going to go back in now. Tap on a new location, and we're going to add in those uh, Takis. Now here, it's not sure what those are, so no symbol came up. I could do a search for chips or snack or nachos or something like that. But again, I have a picture saved to my Photos app, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that and select the image. And we see the preview here. Now, I'm sure this is not going to pronounce this correctly. Um, we can give that a whirl here. Take us. Um, so I want to go ahead and change that. So in order to change a pronunciation, uh, we're going to go into editing. And this is actually under the user tab. If I click on Takis, that'll bring that up. Or you can maximize and minimize with this double arrow. So instead of being in the button page, we're going to come over to user. And here we see the voice file that's applied to my particular user here. And underneath that is an option for pronunciation exceptions. So I want to add one in here. So I'm going to add pronunciation exception. And it's asking me for two things. First is the word as it's spelled in the system. So I'm going to type T-A-K-I-S. And then the pronunciation that uh, we want to use. So this I'll make a phonetic approximation. And I can listen to a preview. Talkies. Better than what we heard before. So I'm going to choose done. And I'll go back to my user. So right now I am using um, an acapella voice named Scott. So any acapella voices will remember and use this pronunciation exception that's in there. So that's changed now. It'll sound the way we want it to. So I can hit done. I want. Talkies. I want talkies.